That's what I like best. Now, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Teardrop shot, and it's good on the way. Paul's got 10 points in the game. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Jay defended by Paul. Here's Jay and another three for the Clippers. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Pass to McGee. Outside Crowder. Aiton finds Crowder. McGee with it. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. They are just killing them on the interior. Clippers trail by six. Hunter on the way. Count it good. Count on Kawhi Leonard to, to work as much as he needs to to get to the spots on the floor where he can be successful. He's a good shooter from mid range. Oh, eight in position. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Phoenix ahead, up four. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Courtside at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. It's been one outstanding game from Jay. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Setting the floor for the Suns. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the three, the small four. I saw a green light there. He's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And that's exactly what you want to start the second half. Smart play call. Halftime talks can go all over the board, but right there coming out, that's the way you want to start the half. Be aggressive. Paul finds Bridges. Outside Crowder. And here is Paul. He's got 10. Hooker the pass to Aiton. Five to shoot. The Suns need to get a shot off. That's good from Booker on the assist by Aiton. Booker's got five. Uh, Devin Booker up there in usage rate. Usually one of the top five players in the NBA. And right there you can see why. For three. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Jane. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like we're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Book. The Clippers grab the miss. George has got four rebounds in this game. Crowder hit the steal. Paul kicks to Bridges. Back to Paul. Pass to Aiton. The dish to Paul. And there's the drive. Right block shot. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Marcus Morris has checked in for Zubas. And for the Suns, Kaminsky is checked in for DeAndre Aiton. And Johnson subbed in for Bridges. Jay defended by Booker. Here's Jay. Drills the three-pointer. 
Jay's got to got the lead up to two now for the Clippers. Yeah, D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooter. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Paul. He's got ten. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Reggie Jackson. And Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in there. Chris So for the Clippers. Hartenstein, he's checked in for George. Luke Kennard comes in for Leonard. And Raul Meadows subbed in for Reggie Jackson. And Phoenix also making a switch. Charge is checked in. To the middle. And he takes the feed in stride and sends it home. And sporting those broad shoulders, Morris setting that solid pick and rolling hard for the quick catch and finish. To the paint. And finished off by Kaminsky. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see. And it came this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Paul passes to Shorich. Kaminsky with the ball. To the middle. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Charge has got it all tied up now for the Suns. Charge, one of those guys with size and a combination of a deft touch. And in close, he's effective. This is it to Jay. Back to Neto. Here's Jay. That shot off. Good work defensively by Johnson. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Paul. The shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. No good from outside. And there's the pass to Neto. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Jay. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. In the corner, Kennard with it. Shot clock at six. Here's Jay. From outside, off the mark. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. Here's the three. Trains it from beyond the arm. And now it's a three-point Phoenix lead. Booker knows he's got the ultimate green light. And right now, exploring the three-point line. Here's Jay. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Jay's got it. Got 25 points in the game. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Booker dishes the ball from about 16, and it's good off the back rim and in. Paul's got four points this quarter. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Here's Jay. Off target with his three. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Suns lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it's the fourth quarter crowd. Come on, get up and make some noise. Zubac is checked in for Marcus Morris. Leonard comes in for Luke Kennard. And Jay subbed in for Terrence Mann. And for the Suns, Andre Ayton's checked in for Crowder. Devin Booker comes in for Mikael Bridges. And it's Paul in for Cameron Payne. George in the front court, along with Leonard. Jay out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Zubats in at the center. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Driving in. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And McGee kicks the ball. Booker outside. And he gets it to go. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. 
Here's Jane. Oh! Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G. Two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Booker with no one around, and the Suns tack on two more. That's got to feel good. A guy who can score stepping up and hitting buckets as important as that one. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Suns. McGee's got six rebounds here tonight. Paul looking around, looking for McGee. He gets it there. Hammers the alley oop through. Uh, this is why you love Chris Paul running your offense. Just move without the ball, find some space, and the ball will find you. Let's it go with the three. Here's JaVale McGee with the rebound. McGee's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Down low. And the slam up by McGee. Spectacular. I mean, lights out shooting here down the stretch. All of a sudden now, they're in a position to win the game. Jay, defended by Booker. Here's Jay. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Jay's got, he got seven points for the quarter. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And the Suns call time here. They're up by six. We've got 118 left in the fourth. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Mikael Bridges checked in for JaVale McGee. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I had a chance to listen to what Monty Williams discussed with his players. He told them, Let's end the series now. We've got a chance to do it. Let's take advantage of this situation and the opportunity now. Guys. Thank you, David. And he's just living out beyond the arc right now. What a weapon to have on the floor. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. Bridges finds Paul. And again, it's the Suns missing. And here comes Leonard, leading the fast break. Here's Jay. It falls! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And here's a timeout for Monty Williams. Crowder is checked in for Phoenix. Ball against Jackson. Aiton. Yes! And how about that? Aiton stepping up, wanting the pressure. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jay defended by Booker. Buries the triple. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line in a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And so the LA Clippers win the series and will move on. And what an epic journey this year and all postseason it's been for this basketball team. It's taken them all the way through the best teams in the Western Conference, and they've worked very hard to be in this place. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East, and, and they're going to get straight to business in terms of prep for the finals. Still, they get to celebrate today.